everybody, this is me and today's video is all about my first full day with Joey. So the day before this he arrived and um, I just wanted to let him settle in. Also I wanted to get to know him before I threw any cameras in his face because this is all very new and different for him. As well at his previous home being a homebred, this is actually his first ever time being away from home like sleeping overnight so I was so happy when I was removing all the shavings from his rug because he actually laid down in his stable which a lot of horses usually don't do on their first night at a new home so it was really nice to see that he was starting to settle in and I think he really enjoyed his big shavings bed as well. So the first thing that I did was take off both of his rugs and you can actually start to see a few of his dapples coming through here but I just hope he doesn't white out too quickly because he's a lot easier to clean at the moment so then it's on to grooming and I'm using this really soft brush and oh my goodness he loved it he loves the attention he loves the kisses and the cuddles he is honestly the most affectionate horse I have ever met and it just puts a smile on my face because he's got such a happy and sweet personality and it just makes my heart melt for anybody wondering, he does have some braids in his mane just because we're trying to train it to go to the right side. But when it comes to grooming, you can't really get much done without giving Joey some cuddles and kisses. Again, he is just so affectionate. One of the main reasons why I fell in love with Joey is just how lovely he is on the ground. Like here, he's standing so still. We're definitely still working a little bit on that. He can be a tiny bit fidgety, but he was so good when I was grooming his tail, when I was picking out all of his hooves, and he's just so lovely to be around, even if you do get some incoming kisses every now and again. After grooming Joey, I then went to try on his new tack, and I did decide not to film any of this just because him being only five, I wanted to focus on him. And of course, I wanted to make sure all of the tack fit him properly, as well as being nice and comfortable for him. Again, I didn't film when I mounted him. He was a little bit on the nervous side. So this is the first ever clip of me riding him at home. In this clip, you might notice that he is wearing a flash. So I did actually decide to take it off just because he wasn't that comfortable with it on. I think it was a little bit too big, even even though it was on the tightest hole um, but when my, I asked my dad to take the flash off he accidentally kept the keeper on so that's why the keeper is still on the nose band in this video and this is what Joey has to say about it so I'm not gonna lie when working with young horses nothing is going to be perfect straight away you've got to have a lot of patience so we started out our session with Joey being pretty nervous a little bit tense as well I just let him have a really good look around the arena at all the new sights all the new smells and noises as everything was very different and new to him once Joey had settled down I then decided to ask for our first ever trot at home and the main thing I was working on here was on Joey's rhythm to make sure it was nice and consistent and then I decided to pop him round on a circle and here you can see he just fell out a little bit so another thing I was working on was our straightness to make sure he wasn't leaning too much to one side or another. I know a lot of people have different opinions on how quickly you should first start riding your new horse. Some people like to give them a couple days or even a week or two to settle in before they start riding. I did decide to ride Joey on our first day together not only because I did have the tack that fitted him but also because horses absolutely love routine and I feel like that's the main way that would help him settle in just so he knows each day what time he gets fed what time he gets ridden and to make sure that's all very consistent and at the same time here you can see after I've warmed him up a little bit, he's starting to work quite nicely. He actually really started to work nicely once I did some 20 meter circles and also did some three loop serpentines as well, which really helped to make him a little bit more supple. Obviously, we're not perfect. We still have a lot to work on. He has a lot more muscle that he needs to build up and I still need to get used to riding a horse rather than a pony because he's a lot bigger than I'm used to. And of course, we are completely new to each other 
other as well so I'm still sort of figuring out what buttons I need to push and where to get him going really nicely but honestly I was just so happy with how he went and also how relaxed he became by the end of the session as well especially as he was so tense before and there was no bucking no bronking no rearing no spooking and it just made me realize how lucky I am to have such a lovely level-headed horse who's in a new and spooky place be as good as gold trying his best and he just has so much potential guys I'm just so excited to see where we go together in the future so apologies for me getting really soppy there guys but he's just so cool because Joey was doing so well, I thought, you know what, we'll have a sneaky little canter. So, yep, here is our first ever canter at home. We've had a lot of firsts today in today's video. Um, again, I'm still working what buttons to push. That transition definitely wasn't the best. So after doing a circle, I decided to go back to trot, balance him up again, get him working nicely again. And our second transition was definitely a lot better, but definitely still not perfect. Because he was going so nicely, Nicely and calmly I decide to go large and go down the long side again here I'm really working on our rhythm and on our straightness along the short side here I just asked for a little half halt we almost went back to trot there so I just asked him to carry on going and then at the bottom of the long side I asked to go back to trot just because I don't want him to get too unbalanced he still has a lot more muscle to build up but then here at the end of the session I managed to get a really nice canter out of him I was so happy and just just watching this clip back again now just makes me so excited to see what a super little horse he is one day going to become. And of course, him being such a good boy, he got a lot of praise. So that was our first ever flat work session at home. I'm so happy with how he went. So once I cooled him down and everything, I let him say hello to Casper for the first time. Um, they definitely were very interested in each other. Joey was kind of like, hi, I wanna make friends with you. When on the other hand, Casper was a little bit more shy, a bit more nervous and defensive, and was a bit more like, oh my goodness, who are you and why are you here? Which then resulted in this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, Casper, you did sound like a squealing mare there. But anyway, Joey then went in and sealed a kiss. He gave Casper a little lick on the neck. And you know what? I think that lick is what made Casper fall in love with him because then here, Casper's like, hello. I want to be your friend now. He became a little bit more interested and came out of his shell a bit more. So we'll see how these two get along. After that, I decided that's enough of introducing the horses to each other for one day. Mickey and Joey have already met because they're next door, but Mickey still wanted to get in on the action. After giving the camera a lick attack, Mickey just became absolutely mesmerized by Joey and kept staring at him. Meanwhile, Joey was smelling his rug because this is actually one of Casper's rugs, so it's probably a little bit on the stinky side and it's actually really lucky how it worked out because obviously this is my first day of owning Joey I hadn't bought him any head collars rugs boots anything like that yet so he was sharing all of Casper's stuff and I'm just so lucky that him and Casper actually share the same size rug so Casper's rugs actually do fit him obviously I do need to get him his own um, so it was a little bit drizzly on this particular day I also decided to put Casper's old cross-country boots on him again him and Joey share the same size boots just because our fields were probably the worst they've ever been but I didn't want to lock him up in a stable day. In the end I decided the best time to turn him out would be straight after I rode him just because then he'd blown off a lot of steam before I turned him out. Again that's why I put on the cross country boots just in case he did decide to have a little gallop or buck around but I think he was definitely more interested in the grass and smelling everything and he wasn't interested in the hay either that I put out which I thought you know what I'll put some hay out that might distract him a little bit but he just had a little mooch around, a little look around. Again I left on this head collar because this is the only head collar that I have that kind of fits him quite well. Sorry it's not a leather one and sorry that I put it on while he was turned out but I didn't know what he was like to catch or anything like that. So I just wanted to be as cautious as I possibly could, especially as the ground was so horrible. And guys, guess what? I don't just have one, I don't have two, but I now have 
three white slash grey horses that have a passion for rolling. Because Joey, no, 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 he did not just roll the once, he rolled twice. So, don't mind me guys, I'm just gonna go and buy a lifetime supply of horse shampoo and stain remover that will probably get used up in only a week. And oh my goodness, Joey makes me chuckle so much because here, for some reason, he just went up to Mickey and Casper in their stables and went, Hi guys, I'm gonna come and smell you. He just started smelling them really randomly. And Casper came out to say hello. And honestly, I think these two guys are gonna be the best of friends. Okay everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'd also like to say a huge thank you for all of the love and support on my new horse series. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.